I can't believe I'm going to have to discipline Mary this early <laughs> in our Monday morning, this early in the week, but she is diving into the ingredients for what looks like the most delicious Easter treat. Um, and the beautiful thing is how you can make it yourself completely inexpensively. Um, this is all about engaging the family. It's all about having an Easter budget that is affordable. You don't have to go That's out it. there and rush out and buy every new kind of trendy um, Easter treat. You can actually make yours at home. And I'll, this right. is quite a mouthful. Get, let's get the name here. Butter crunch popcorn toffee with chocolate and almonds. Oh my word! Yay. Um, you did okay, it. break it down for us. What are we making here? In <laughs> so this, this it's actually really concoction? simple, and it's basically sugar. <laughs> okay. You know how much I love sugar. So this is my actually my daughter is the big sugar woman in the in the family, and so she's got me making all these things for the Easter holiday. Yes, blame it on your daughter. I, can't I have to you blame sold someone. Your daughter down the river. It's Easter. <laughs> Come on. Okay, where do we begin? So we it's basically brown sugar. Okay. Butter and uh, a little bit of honey, because there's not enough sweetness with the sugar. <laughs> of course, obviously not. You know? And I, because I, you know, the whole Canadian thing, I actually sometimes use maple syrup as well. Uh -huh. So you bring all this down, and, and you actually don't want to play with it too much. You just want it to all melt, and you know sugar melts, right? Yeah. And it becomes caramel, and that's basically what you're going to do, is you're going to let it melt, Mix you, it all you down. You don't want it to crystallize too much, so you want it to remain nice and runny and creamy. Like it is, that, but yeah. the butter is going to help with that. Okay, so, brilliant. so you actually can't really destroy this. Okay? <laughs> she says, looking at me, you can't mess this up. Is you, what she's trying to no, say. No, you yeah. can't. And you just want to bring it to the right stage so that it actually hardens. Okay. And so, as I love this, here yeah, we go. Do a little magic we have come. Dissolve. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. And you see what happens to it. It starts to oh, bubble lovely. and it gets quite nice. Okay, so this is the part of the process that you don't allow your children to weigh in. This is where you take a firm control. You don't want Unless to be playing it's a, around. Right, if it's a teenager or something. But we have other things for the younger children for today. During, really? Yes. So this is actually for older kids. And it's also something you can do throughout the year. And it's it's whatever you have in the pantry. And I, we eat a lot of, do you ever eat popcorn? Uh, I do. I'm yes. a big popcorn fan. Do you it's actually one of the pop it? Treats. Pop I, it on the stove or do you put it in the microwave. Um, I pop it. I'm, I'm old school, I must say, but I, I buy a lot of ready-made, which is shocking. I know, shocking, shocking. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I never that, leave any I, I'm not saying either. another <laughs> word. Okay. So, so what's wonderful about this is that you have a little leftover popcorn, and it usually goes in the bin. Yeah. But why bother? Because here you have it, and you can throw it in here. You stir it and right in the mix. You can just stir it in, and you can stir the almonds either before or after. I like to put them in now. And you see all this, and oh, then... So you want everything to be fully coated. Yes. You want every little nook and cranny Absolutely. in that popcorn to be filled with caramel. And you know what I did the Oof. other day? I made a caramel sauce, basically sugar melted down, and then when it turned amber, I tur put in some cream, and then mm. I had extra popcorn. So I actually put it into the oven, all this stuff mixed in, and it turned out to be perfect in ice cream. Oh, I was going to yeah. say, this as, as a jumping off point, just by com combining these two amazing kind of ingredients you can go anywhere you can and that's the other thing is that not that you will ever have any of this left over but <laughs> if you happen to have any of it left over you could crack it up and put it over ice cream you could if you don't have an ice cream maker you can actually uh, take vanilla ice cream soften it a bit mix all this into it oh, so and then swirls. and then oh. you could say it's your own ice cream and oh, then you completely. could say you made your own ice cream how exciting is that oh, so you it. see this it's it's quite warm it's solidifying a little bit. You want it, it to harden up a little. Set yet, yeah. No, and then you just have to sprinkle a little chocolate on top. I'm glad you've gone with the dark chocolate. I know. It's so good. And and you know what? A lot of people like that milk chocolate better, but boy, this nah, is great. You mixed want to in. want the contrast. And of course the keyword here is treat to double three seven two eight. We'll send you this genius ingredients list to create your own unbelievable caramel. Mm, it's looking Look beautiful and as you, well. You actually have to do very little. I mean, I've done absolutely nothing. And, I feel a little bit guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm having you do the cake pop snack. Um, so. Lovely. Okay, well, um, as you mentioned, cake pops, and that's where the kids can get involved. It's all about Easter, it's about sweet treats, and it's about how you can do it on a budget. It looks absolutely amazing. Gonna try a little bit. I'm going to stuff my face as we get back <laughs> into our relationship <laughs> chat. In all seriousness, something vital for both members of the couple to listen to. We are mm. dealing with trauma in our relationships. Yes. 